She doesn't look so fresh. Oh, are you so sad? Hi, it's Friday. It's raining. It's so dreary outside. I'm super congested. Yes, I had to do that. <laughs> right before I said that, that was gross, I'm sorry. Um, I'm feeling a bit under the weather. The last few days, Grant has actually been sick and now I think I have it. But I was supposed to record my new video for next week today and I was all set up to do it. I was all like getting ready, getting my makeup done, like trying to look good even though I don't feel good and it was gonna be fine. Like I took some like Sudafed, Dayquil, whatever so I can like, you know, turn on the bright lights the show must go on you know YouTube stuff and then it got so dark suddenly and started raining and the wind started going crazy and the house started shaking so it got really dark I tried to turn on some of my lights some of my rusty dusty old lights that I never use anymore for my main channel videos and I just hated how it looked and I just like gave up which I hate giving up but I think it was just not meant to be today. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna figure it out. But right now, I'm gonna go get a pedicure because I'm in desperate need. Oh my gosh. I've been trying to like stretch this last one. I got a little too long. Like you know how like it starts growing out and you just do like a little, a little edge job. I don't, that's not the right way to say that. But like you just try to fill in the gap. I did that. It looks not great i don't feel good about it and i've been meaning to do this for so long so i'm gonna get this done and then i don't know what <sighs> i'm already tired of talking okay i think all of that just then was too dark i'm sorry but now can you see my blush i i guess i'm just in the mood to record now and i'm rambling i need to go in there and get my pedicure done because this place fills up there's only like one place in my neighborhood to get your nails done and if you don't get in there you're not getting them done <laughs> I just got to the mall face is getting a little bit shiny and I'm about to run in and uh, Grant's actually coming here after work and we're gonna have dinner together um, my mom told me about a dress that I should try on I know this dress thing it goes on and on and on I I feel like I just look too much and I need to stop I keep looking online and I'm like I'm not finding anything I like I should just get the blue dress the blue dress Grant's grandmother actually texted me and said she liked the blue dress too so I feel like it's unanimous across like literally everybody and I still have those dresses so I need to try them on again and like really decide but I'm gonna go try to see if I can find that dress that my mom was talking about and then Grant's coming here I need to go in why am I rambling even more so here's what we got I found three different options that are mostly different than what I've been trying on This dress is very like a ba, ba boom It's very out there. I don't know what I'm thinking. And it's also covered in sequins. I don't know. I think it is a very, very, very pretty dress, but I feel like it might be more like New Year's Eve, not wedding. Okay, for me, this is what I call like an outfit of my life. This is a dream outfit for me and it just happened. I did not know what I wanted to wear today. I don't totally know what we're about to get into, but I feel horrible and I just wanted to be cute. And I've never worn this together. Actually, I've never worn these jeans. They're Show Me Your Moo Moo. I showed them on the channel before when I actually got them. They're super, super flared. It's just been so horrifically hot out and it rained this morning, so I feel like I won't die in these, hopefully, pray for me. And then I have my old Birkenstocks I've had forever and they're kind of like a white 
patent leather, sort of. It's really, really bright. You might not be able to see them. And then the top I've also had for a while. It's frame and I got it from Nordstrom Rack, so I got a deal. I don't know, I basically just feel like I could wear this every day. I feel very 70s. This is just like what I'm going for. And it accidentally actually happened for once. I decided to make a quick stop at the house and I don't want to show you guys everything along the way. I want to like make it like a big surprise. But I gotta show you this tile. This tile is my life. Oh, it looks so dirty, but I'm so in love with it. Okay, we're done looking around at the house. It's really coming together. I'm so excited. I mean, it looks like it's basically almost done to us, but apparently we're wrong. Our eyes lie to us. It's going to be a long time from now, but I'm so happy with the progress. Things are going so well. I mean, there have been a few bumps in the road, but nothing huge. Um, right now, we're about to go into a carpet store, and we just saw this one online. I'm not really sure if they're going to have a lot of options that I can show you guys. So we're going to be doing kind of like a faux runner down the stairs. I don't completely know how to explain it, and honestly, it was kind of a compromise that we had to make with the house, um, but I want it to look as good as it can, and I don't want it to be the same carpet that it's gonna be everywhere else, and we didn't find one that we really liked whenever we were um, making all the choices and everything for the house. So I would really like to make this change before we move in if time allows, and when I look online, I'm just not finding a lot of inspiration. I found a couple of things that I like, but I'm hoping if we look in real life, we will be able to find something that we can better visualize for that purpose. I don't know, I'm pretty nervous about the whole thing in general, just cause it's, I mean, it was a compromise. Um, but overall, I do think it will be like the best function wise because like Luna does not like wood stairs. If we have a child wandering off the street, they probably won't like wood stairs, won't be the safest choice. So I'm like out of breath. I feel so crummy right now. <laughs> My Sudafed kind of helped, but not enough. Carpet samples as far as the eye can see. Uh oh, we found the shag carpet. It's so lengthy. Lose <laughs> Luna in that carpet. More glitter. I'm so surprised by all the glitter carpeting. <gasps> the shiny. Yes, I'm in. Pink shining. Okay, it seems that we both agree that we really like this. It is a bold pattern. I don't know. We might be willing to take the risk on this one. You ready to show your baseball outfit? It's a home run. Work it. Work. <laughs> All right, we just ran home to do a quick little change and now we're headed to a baseball game. I've never been to a professional baseball game other than the Astros, so I kind of feel like I'm cheating on them. I mean, they 100% would not care. I don't think I was a very good fan. Out of all sporting events, by far professional at least, I've been to baseball games more than anything, so I kind of feel like I'm a fan. I don't know, I'm not really a sports person, but we're going and we're meeting up with Grant's brother and his fiance, so it's gonna be fun. It was the Rangers, did I even say that? Mm -hmm. My brain is not working right now. I'm trying to pull it together. It's gonna be fun, I'm okay. Grant said maybe I should stay home, but I'm trying to soldier on, be tough. Cause it's really not that bad, it's like a cold, okay? Like, I'm fine, you know? Oh, never forget, remember that Grant? until the 
the very end to make it an exciting game. <laughs> Never fails to come through at the graduation. Okay, it's Sunday and things have taken a turn for the worse. Today has been like just a battle. I feel so terrible. Yesterday night, especially like at the baseball game, I really thought things were turning around and I was going to be like all better today. No, not at all. Uh, I woke up at like five o'clock this morning and I felt so bad and I took all the medicine that I've been taking again and I like couldn't sleep. It was so awful and I pulled it all together because I had my mind set on recording my new video for next week today because tomorrow's a holiday and I want us to be able to have fun and I felt like I was trapped at home today like I should not go anywhere since I was like all over the place yesterday and then today I'm so much worse like that was probably not a good idea but I don't know how to tell myself no like I want to keep having fun and it's honestly like last night I felt fine I felt totally fine while we were at the baseball game um and I kind of feel like it's you know kind of helps to be sort of distracted like obviously you don't want to be going out really sick because you could get other people sick but I didn't I felt like I was getting better you know so <sighs> I don't know but I don't even feel like I'm making sense right now but I did record that video and I feel so bad that I recorded it when I sound like this and I feel like this because I feel like I was like all over the place hopefully it all comes together after editing who knows that's kind of how I always feel when I'm making a video like vlogs regular videos on my main channel everywhere I'm just like what is this mess how how is this going to come together and magically it always does come together in the end um my eye is watering so much just this one earlier it was both of them but just this one now i'm so bummed that this happened on our holiday weekend right now grant is outside and he's actually grilling i want to go see he said it was almost ready and i want to show you he's such a grilling dude yesterday he worked on the weeds outside and it looks so good how's it going Whoa, are you done? Wow. Uh, black and grilled corn and our usual favorite chopped up sausages. Oh my gosh. Look at him. Chef Grant at work. I love it. I feel so stupid for pushing myself to make that video. Hopefully it does come together. Um, but I just felt like it had to be done so I can just like feel like I could relax and just be sick. And plus I get bored just like sitting in the bed watching netflix like this morning when i couldn't sleep and i woke up at like five i turned on the tv and i started watching uh the family which was kind of boring i don't know maybe it gets better after the second episode but i was so bored watching it i just turned it off and i actually did fall back asleep like it helped me get back to sleep it was so boring my eyes are kind of puffy but generally i feel like i was able to pull it together and look you know semi-normal my big tie-dye t-shirt i love this t-shirt so much i want to wear it like every single day i talked about so many favorite podcasts in the new video for my main channel so definitely keep an eye out for that i know a lot of you guys uh are always asking me about new podcasts to listen to true crime podcasts and i talked about i think five different ones that i've listened to over the past few months because it's like a, a current favorites what i've been loving lately kind of video Ooh. Are you decobbing it? Mm -hmm. What if I want that corn bone, dude? <laughs> you can still not on it. Grant had a hot dog last night at the game. It was, it was a very good. baseball moment. That game was so much fun. Like baseball can be boring and slow, but it ramped up at the end and they all like ran out and I don't know. It's just like a happy moment. It felt yes. like a movie, you know? It Where was, there's that like was a really good game. That so was... triumphant. Oh my gosh, I think we're done. Wow, Grant, thank you. Mm -hmm. This looks like a manly meal. Very manly meal. <laughs> you ready to go, Bean?
dog park and we had so much fun. Really, Luna had a lot of fun. There were a bunch of really cute, sweet dogs and Luna just loves like run up to every single dog the second she gets there and say hi and now she's just like exhausted and also filthy. I don't know if you can tell she's being very shy right now but that big dot on her nose is mud. So she's about to get in the bath and then we're gonna get comfy and watch a movie. <laughs> she seems so sleepy. <laughs> Got a fresh pupper here. You feel fresh? <laughs> she doesn't look so fresh. Oh, are you so sad? <laughs> and so tasty? Let me get you wrapped up. Like a little burrito, baby. All of her legs sticking straight up. Look at this girl. <laughs> Gotta lick that clean off. Guess who's feeling so much better? I don't think that worked, but I was trying to do a big reveal. I'm feeling better. I'm not feeling 100%, not even close, but I'm feeling a lot better. Clearly, we're going to the pool. really late well not really late it's kind of late we had a really good labor day I was definitely feeling much better while we we're at the pool and then now as it's gotten into the evening I'd say I'm probably like 50% so I'm still getting better I'm sure tomorrow I'll feel even better so don't worry about me it's just a cold I'll totally be fine um, but it was crazy I felt horrible yesterday just like I, I was kind of at my wits end I don't really get sick that often um, the, the long-term like lupus kind of sickness you know I'm all over that but like day-to-day -day colds flu that kind of thing like it I feel like it just doesn't happen to me as much as it happens to most people which I'm very grateful for so when I do get sick it's like oh my gosh I forgot how terrible this is I think Grant's feeling a lot better too huh mm -hmm. yeah I feel I'm back to normal back to 100%. normal 100% back to life baby I'm like 50%. I'm not totally back to reality yet. Just back to life. Not back. <clears throat> wow. Not back to reality yet. <laughs> but we had a really great time at the pool and I went off the diving board. I think that was the tallest diving board I've ever gone out of. I have a terrible memory, so I might not be right about that, but that was an accomplishment for me. Um, I actually went off of it twice and I did like a little scream both times. I don't know if you can hear it in the video that Grant got. Um, but yeah, it was fun. I loved it and Grant went off of it twice too. I think we're just about to watch Secession because we're behind on that show and we just finished Sinner earlier this weekend or earlier this week. I can't remember. <sighs> I need to stop trying to talk. This is a really good weekend, like despite the fact that I was kind of dying the whole time. Anyway, that's it for the vlog. Thank you, I love you, bye. And subscribe, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>